Hey guys, I'm how you doing? And today I am bringing you uh, my first FIFA game. Uh, this is the FIFA World Cup 2010. Um, I, this is actually the demo. Uh, I, I, I don't have the full version of the game. I'm not that rich to buy the game when it just came out. But um, this is of course between Spain and uh, Italy. Um, I am Spain, and um, this is this was a good game I recorded. Um, I think I was on world. I'm pretty sure I was on world class, but um, when I play. I play on either world class or the level right below it, um, just because uh, since it's world class, I get frustrated if I'm not scoring goals or stuff like that. So I'm not sure what it is, but it is still good competition. And you'll see, it's not like I'm just going through and scoring lots of goals. And anyway, whether it doesn't matter what uh, difficulty I'm playing on, it should be about the goals and how the goals look. So um, we're gonna talk about today. I mean, the gameplay will kind of um, you able to see for yourself, and I'm not really give over a bunch of tips with gameplay. Um, I'm kind of going to talk about the World Cup a bit just because the World Cup just started. Uh, if you're not a soccer fan, well, you can hear about it anyway. I'm <laughs> um, FIFA. Um, uh, today, I believe Mexico and South Africa played. Then uh, it was yeah, Mexico and South Africa. And then I forget the other one. <laughs> I can't actually remember it right now. But um, they're both ties today. You know, the Mexico and South Africa game was one to one. Um, no, the other one was France and someone else. I forget who. And that was a zero zero tie. But um, so uh, I think this World Cup could be very interesting. Tomorrow, um, 1:30, uh, I get to. I'm right here. A perfect touch by David Villa comes in, a little touch aside, and just like that, there's my man David Villa putting up on my board early. Uh, that was. Uh, that was a really sweet goal. I mean, that goal was uh, a lot of fun to score with. <laughs> right early in the game, really brings up momentum. Uh, in Spain, you have David Villa and Fernando Torres at the top. They're going to be doing that all game long. But, um, yeah, back to the World Cup. Um, the USA and England played, well, it would be today. Um, no, I almost said uh, tomorrow, but to you guys who are watching this, it will be today. So, um, today, USA plays England. Um, that's going to be a very interesting game. Um, of course, I'm rooting for USA. I mean, what do you expect? Uh, but that's going to be a very interesting game. England has been very consistent and is known to do well. But then you had the USA who is going to be um, pressuring them. I mean, after the Federations Cup last year, I mean, they were up 2 nothing on Brazil in the finals. And they beat Spain 2 nothing. Spain right now, um, I would say, is probably one of the... Well, is the best or I actually would say the best in the, um, uh, the best team out there right now uh, I, I think they did a uh, rankings for the World Cup and um, Brazil I think was rated 1 Spain was rated 2 or something like that um, but uh, the Netherlands are rated 4 or, something like that, or 4 or 5 and uh, the Netherlands uh, I do like them too uh, I, I, when Van Nistelrooy played <laughs> I love Van Nistelrooy I mean, he's an older player but he's just so sweet um, then they have Robin and um, the yellow card right there, my defender uh, pulled him into the foul. But um, then you have Percy and uh, I, th I can't remember the other guy's name. He's he he plays for Real Madrid. He's an outside mid. But um, there's another one of those Vaughn names or whatever, I forget. But uh, Netherlands, I like them too. They do well. And uh, <coughs> Spain, I think Spain and Brazil, I think they do really well. Um, Germany, I don't know how they're going to do. Germany has done well. I mean, they uh, did well against Spain. And right here, here, watch this. This is a great cross. And um, all the way across. And just like that, PK shoves it right down the keeper's face. Right over his head. Look at that. That's my defender. That's my defender. That's that's no striker. That's no outside mid. That's no midfielder. That's that's my defender who you just got, got owned by. But, um, yeah, that's right. Look at that, Buffon. He's all upset. That's right. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I think the World Cup's gonna be interesting. Uh, le leave me a comment, guys. I want to know if I mean if you're interested in soccer at all. Uh, who who you're rooting for? Um, which team you think is gonna do really well? Uh, like I said, I know Spain. I think is gonna do really well. Um, Brazil's gonna do really well. France, I don't know. I mean, they tied zero zero today, so that makes me a bit iffy. So I don't know how France is gonna do. Germany. Um, that, that'll be interesting too. 
I don't know how that's going to work out, though. But um, you never know. I mean, they did well when they played Spain uh, Euro UEFA Cup <laughs> two years ago. But um, I don't know how they're going to do now. So that should be interesting. Um, the, other, the Netherlands, I think, are going to do well. Um, I, it's, I mean, it's hard to tell. South Africa, I actually thought... They're actually r lowly ranked. I think they were, they were ranked like 80 in the world or something like that. South Africa, and um, I th I thought they were a lot better. I think they're going to do it decently. I mean, they almost beat Spain out uh, last year in the Confederations Cup. Or, I mean, Bra they almost beat Brazil out. And um, Brazil, they were the comeback team last year. But um, this World Cup's going to be really interesting. Um, I forget when Spain and Brazil and some of the big teams. And watch this. This is beautiful right here. Look at that. Takes it in. If you saw, I started back from the middle of the field, came all the way across the field, gave it to an outside mid, a little, little poke right there, and that right, right again. Like I said, that's David Villa for you. I mean, Fernando Torres and David Villa up top for Spain are deadly. I mean, Brazil does have uh, Rubinho and uh, I think it's Luis Fabiano, but uh, watch out, David Villa, Fernando Torres. These two are just unstoppable. And this goal, I mean, this isn't real life, but this goal shows you. <laughs> that's David Villa. He's a great player. So that should be really interesting. Um, but uh, like I said, tell me who you guys think uh, is going to play well, who you think is going to do good. Um, I'm interested to see uh, what you guys think, what your opinion is, Aiden. Who's your favorite team? Um, my favorite team, I don't know. It's hard to say my favorite team. I mean, I like USA because that's where I'm from. But, you know, they don't have as many of the big players. I mean, Brazil, I think, is a really neat team because... They have a bunch of really good ball handlers and stuff like that, and they play really, really well. But um, right here, this is a nice goal. The other team scores here. That I, I have to admit, was a nice goal with the other team. Um, I can't do anything about that goal, um, but that's okay. I mean, I'm up three to one right now, I believe. So they still have a long while to go. But um, yes, yeah, so, I mean, I think I, I like Brazil because of the uh, good ball handlers have a bunch of cool players, uh, especially Rubinho. Rubinho is. A, great player I like watching him he's fun to watch and um I'm not really talking much about this gameplay today but uh when I do play uh I do play um more passing ball when I get the ball um when I'm playing FIFA or any of the area when I'm playing soccer I don't want to lose the ball I hate losing the ball I want to be in the, to control the ball the whole entire time take the ball around the field and then I'm eventually take it down the field and you put it in the back of the net or you let you screw yourself a good chance I hate losing the ball, so whenever I play FIFA, I try my best to possess the ball and um, keep it with my own players. And um, I forget what happens here. Um, oh yeah, was that a foul? Maybe it was. Oh, never mind, I was offside. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm watching this actually right now. It's Sony Vegas Pro, and um, that was almost a bad mistake right there. But it's Sony Vegas Pro, um, it's so small to watch. And uh, I didn't, I didn't want to bring up a minute as media player because uh, I edited this and uh, put this all together. And right there, um, that was a good defensive play. But um, so yeah, so it's kind of hard to see. It's a bit small right now, but I've, I know I've watched this. I watched it a few times. And I know what's going on. But um, yeah. So I mean, this is this World Cup. I think is gonna be really interesting. Um, it's still early. And right here, look at this. Ready? <laughs> look at this. Keepers out. <laughs> oh, look at that. Not a real, real fancy goal, but you know what? It's a goal nonetheless. Uh, Andres Iniesta, um, that's that, that's great. Um, but that's another thing with Spain. They have An An Andres Iniesta, you have Xavi, and um, Fabregas, all in the midfield. Those are three great midfielders. I mean, Andres Iniesta, we saw last year, I mean, especially with him, Barcelona, and uh, I believe it was Chelsea when he nailed that goal. But uh, they have a bunch of great men. And you have David Silva, too. So, I mean, Spain's going to be... I think one. I think it's probably the best. And you look at the defenders. You have Carlos Puyo. Um, you have PK, great defender. And then you have Sergio Ramos and um, the left back. I can't remember his name right now. But that's a lot of really great defenders. So that has been the game, guys. It's four to one. There's been a lot of scoring. So um, remember to leave me a comment. Uh, tell me um, about the World Cup. What do you think is going to happen? Tell me what you your opinions on it. So um, I think. It's going to have to be between Spain and Brazil and maybe the Netherlands. I don't know, but Spain and Brazil, I think, are going to dominate. So I just want to thank you guys for watching, and um, see you guys soon.